the last video was getting a little bit long, so I wanted to uh, take another shot at this uh, Taito Arkanoid controller. And so I'll show a quick little recap here of uh, what we ran into before. And so check that out at the bottom of the screen. Get this opened up here. And so it just has these four uh, Phillips head screws to get inside the case. And so let's get it open up. Okay, we just got one more screw here, this last one. All right, and so in the previous video, we, uh, we worked on getting this uh, wire um, right here you see there's some damage already inside the casing but we moved this wire so it was locked back in place um, we also matched with the resistor uh, because it, it was in soldered in a different location than the working controller um, the other thing we did was uh, refloat solder here on this trace however um, it was still not working and that was where we we didn't have any continuity and so what I want to try in this video is to just jump the trace you know how it looks fine I don't see uh, a break but I don't also I just don't have a microscope so I don't know for sure if uh, the trace is just uh, broken so I wanted to see if we can maybe run a wire um, between here and here in hopes that maybe we'll be able to uh, just jump the trace that way. And so I got some wire here. I'm just gonna try to cut it to length. And so try to cut it down just a little bit. because. Okay, and it's not really heavy gauge wire or anything, and so I'm actually able to get the casing off just by pulling it with my fingers here, but try to strip it just to expose a little bit of the wire, and so that I have places to the solder to here so um, I don't know if you could see that but here's the wire and so what I want to do is just run that across here and see if that might make a difference in um, getting some sort of continuity on the board here and so I've got the soldering iron heating up and um, what I want to do now is get a little flux and get a little bit of flux onto the, the wire itself. Uh, a little bit on the board. That will just make the job a little bit easier when it comes to soldering it down and so we want to get out the solder here and I want to get a little bit 
a little bit on the wire first and then a little bit onto so I'm just cleaning up the soldering iron getting a little solder on the iron and let's see if you can see that I'm just running it along there there we go just getting a little bit on the wire and then I'll do that with the other side here I'll just make things a little easier and so clean off the tip of the soldering iron and go in here Okay, just let that sit. And try to line up that wire like that. Okay, and so it's in there. Uh, it's nothing pretty. Um, so we'll see if we got some continuity. Yep, I'm actually getting a reading now. So that's a good sign. Um, so let's go ahead and test this here and see if maybe that made a difference. Okay, great, look at that. And we're back here. And it's working great. So close. Well, other than me just having to brush up on my skills, it looks like the controller's working great. All right, we got the controllers cleaned up and working. We got the game cleaned and working, so we can call this one done. Thanks for following along, and I hope you have a great day.